I've been using Octopus for many years and I wanted to try it out to see what its capabilities are in terms of Kubernetes and cloud native. Octopus focuses on continuous delivery, so it makes it super easy to deliver software to Kubernetes, multi-cloud, on-prem and pretty much anywhere. And Octopus runs as a container, which means you can run it anywhere. You can self-host it by running the container or you could take a look at Octopus Cloud. They have a fully functional free tier that's free forever. In my introduction to Octopus, I basically create a production and development Kubernetes cluster. I then take a look at the Octopus components, what is required to run Octopus. I go through my settings. I use Docker to run a SQL database for the backend storage. And then I use Docker to run the Octopus server. When Octopus is up, we take a look at how to set up environments like development and production. We take a look at what deployment targets are and how to connect your Kubernetes cluster. Then the true power of Octopus is setting up a deployment process. So we construct this process where we deploy a namespace, a config map, a service, and a Kubernetes YAML deployment. You can also deploy things like Helm charts. Octopus allows you to set up the deployment process and define all the building blocks like modules to create the deployment pipeline, but also to set up gold standards. So your platform engineering team can provide the building blocks for other teams to build pipelines. Once our pipeline is ready, we create our first release and then we deploy it to development and production. With the Octopus UI, it's super easy to promote releases to environments, troubleshoot deployments, get the logs back. And Octopus also provides this live status feature. So we can actually get a little view of the pods that we've deployed without having to use other tools and go to our Kubernetes cluster using kubectl. This means non-technical folks can troubleshoot deployments. Octopus also has very useful runbooks. We can use this to perform operational tasks like clearing a CDN cache, recycling an IIS or an Nginx web server. We can use it to describe Kubernetes deployments, get pods, get the pod logs or scale pods. If you want to take your DevOps and platform engineering skills to the next level, check out Octopus Deploy in my link down below.